Hey everyone, HeroTech here with a tutorial video for the PS4 web shooter. All 3D files and material links are shared in the description below. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can use online 3D printing services such as CraftCloud to get the parts printed. If you want a free 3D printer, we're doing a giveaway of two 3D printers as a thank you for reaching 200,000 subscribers. To enter the giveaway, it's really easy. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment below for a chance to win Creality Ender 3 V2 3D printer. Two winners will be chosen via YouTube random comment picker and announced on January 8th via the comment section of this video, a YouTube community post, and our official Instagram page at herotech.io. Good luck to everyone and thank you once again for all of your support. Now let's get on to the tutorial. Main body. Then you have your bottom, then you have your cartridge, followed by the cartridge spool, probably in the middle between the body and the bottom will be your lock block. We'll put that there. Then your projectile, that shoots out. And for other materials, you'll need your spool, scrimp, springs, and magnet. Links to all these will be given in the description, so you can make your own, no need to worry. But we can straight away just start, and first order is probably making the body and the bottom. So you can see here, this is your bottom. What you have to do, take some length of this nylon line. And so now what you have to do with this nylon line, you thread it through the lock block. See your lock block here? What you need to do is thread it through each side. So one side and the other as well. So when you pull it, you should get this kind of shape. Kind of cool. Then you need to take both ends of the nylon string and thread it through this spring. Just like that. So now you see the lock block and lock spring assembly is complete. There's a corresponding hole, you should be able to see. Just thread both of the strings through that one. It should lock straight into place, like so. This one is actually super glued in place. So we'll take any kind of super glue, will work. You can get it at the dollar store. Um, all you gotta do is super glue the sides of the bottom and press it into the body. Match it up and push it in. Now, once you push it in, you want to have to keep it there and hold it down, apply some pressure, at least for 30 seconds. If not, the super glue may not set. Here you have your full finished body. So what you need to do is now take the scrimp from Vitaholic. Now what this will let you do is actually lock your nylon line in place. So you can fire the web shooter. Right, so once it's sufficiently loose, then you can thread the nylon lines through. Okay. Do this purpose through, the line is taut. And you can just leave it tight for now. Later, when you actually put it on your wrist strap and attach the web shooter, then you can adjust the length to fit your wrist and specific hand size. So here, this is your finished body for now. Sweet. And now, the projectile. What you can do, you need to super glue two things. First thing would be the magnet into the head of the projectile and the spring onto the body. 
You can start with the magnet first. It's usually easier. Again, take any kind of super glue you want. Apply a dab to the side here. And then you can slot your magnet right in. It should be a pretty nice fit. Get your spring, slot it through, and you'll notice there's a ledge here where you have to kind of friction lock it on. So push it onto that ledge, give it a twist like so. You really want to make sure it's there. Like that. So once it is there, then you can go ahead and super glue. When you do super glue, make sure you only super glue the top ledge. Again, because you don't want the spring freezing up, which will jam the web shooter. Just a little bit of glue there. And that should be good. Now the last part is the spool and the cartridge and the webbing. So we're using what we're using for the webbing currently is this. Spider wire stealth smooth smooth braid. It's only 0.08 millimeters thick, which is great for our purposes. Because that means that it'll be thin and we can store a lot of it in one webbing. What you have to do is you have to tie a loop knot. So you can follow here. I'll put the link in the description for animations on how to do this. But because it is somewhat it is somewhat complicated. But essentially you're gonna put this there. And you're gonna form a loop. So this has to go over. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is a terrible explanation, but again, the animation will probably be much better. And that will loop through once, like so. Then you have to loop it through again, like that. And then you're golden, just pull. So what this knot allows us to do is actually, it's an adjustable length. So if you put one length on the string and you pull it, you're gonna move up, then pull it again, other way, it'll widen. So this allows us to attach and detach from the projectile. Now how to load it onto the spool and the cartridge. So you'll notice that we redesigned the webbing and cartridge system just to fit this web shear, just because the form factor is so small. So what you have here is the webbing spool. So you gotta take this, you take the end of the webbing, and start just spooling it around. All right. And once done, your webbing will look something like this. That's good. All you have to do, take the cartridge. You'll see there are two sides to it. Go look for the side with the indentation and slot it in. You'll see that you have a nice friction fit. Something like a Lego actually. <laughs> The spool will friction fit right there, and you have your webbing cartridge. Once everything's done drying, you can actually start attaching it. This is the part where the instructions will deviate slightly if you're doing this at home. I have a specialized watch strap that I'll attach the web shooter to, but in 3D files, there is a different version, which you need to print, which will attach to any 14 millimeter watch strap. So again, I'll repeat, um, if you're doing this home, this is where it kind of deviates because I'll attach it to my own specialized watch strap, but you can attach yours to any 14 millimeter watch strap. There'll be lugs on the side and it'll attach just like any other watch. So once you have your web shooter attached on, we can show you a demo on how to fire. So just strap on your web shooter. Lock it in like so. So what you have to do is just take the projectile and pull on the lock block. That'll lock the projectile in place once you slot it in. So this part is a little more tricky. You gotta get the hook, the loop of this line, locked into the hook of the projectile. So because of the design, it should be able to hook easily. And when you pull on the actual loop, it will lock like so. So now your webbing is locked into position and will shoot out when the projectile shoots out. You can insert the cartridge inside now, taking care of the webbing. Push it in. Make sure 
shooter. It's nice. And there, you have a fully loaded web shooter ready to fire. So just point where you want to go, fire, and your webbing will shoot out. So depending on how much you load it on the spool, it will <laughs> shoot out a lot, and you can kind of just pull it through as it does so. You'll see the spiral pattern that the webbing actually shoots out in, and that's because of the spool and the way it's loaded, which I think is pretty cool. All right, so there's your web shooter. I'm gonna go ahead and paint mine now. You don't have to, obviously, but that's just what I want to do to make it look something more like in the game. Thanks for watching. See you soon with more projects and content.